What's going on, people? Happy Monday. Happy Mario Monday. It's Don Chucky here. And tonight, we're going to throw it back to a little bit of a remake of a Mario game. This is Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. Welcome in, and uh, we are going to play through the regular game first, and then probably the next time, we're going to try out this level card thing, because apparently, back then, you could scan cards and get levels. My parents never let me buy all those damn cards to get those levels, so we're gonna try out all these new levels later. You know, I've played Super Mario 3, like, probably fucking hundred times, so I know this game pretty well. I hope everybody's had a great Monday. It's finally starting to feel like spring, well, in the afternoon, which is nice. Yeah, every Monday, we'll be showcasing a Mario game that you haven't already seen. Some of the fun that we've had with Super Mario uh, World 2, Yoshi's Island, with um, a few other Mario games. I always loved Mario 3, but it's not my favorite. Mario World will always be my favorite just because of how often I played it as a kid. For some reason, I feel like one of the controls is a little off. Maybe I'm just nuts. How do you grab? Like, if I wanted to grab a shell. Gotcha. I don't remember all those little, like, gotcha stuff in this game either. Interesting. Alright, it is time for the extra life trick. If you don't know, every Mario game has ways to get extra lives. This one is no different. You just float with your raccoon tail. Don't hit both of And you just keep doing this until you get bored. Oh, where you frank like that. Damn it. I know I have a clip somewhere of me doing it right. Get out of my way. There's another extra life, thank you. Just what I needed. I don't remember all the commentary. It must be definitely from before. Another tip too, if you run and you're at full speed and you hit the uh, end panel, you usually get a star. Yeah, the first world with a whistle. Okay, so that's... Okay, so I have to, like... Damn it. We are gonna get back into some basics or some content creating soon. I want to get back into doing some Pokemon Nuzlocks. Um, we're gonna feature some other retro games, obviously, coming up here. I want to dive into some Sonic, Ninja Turtles, and some other stuff. And, well, hoping to upgrade a few things in the stream here momentarily. Okay, let's get something from the chest. Ooh, Firefly, that's a good one. I like the Firefly. Firefly is cool. Alright, I hate this level. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this level because of the moving, the side-scrolling screen. It's annoying. Especially without a raccoon tail, this is a nightmare sometimes. Like, it's not that hard, but you know. It's just... There's an extra life. Cool. Alright. I know there's a secret. You have to get, like, all the coins. And then end it at a certain, like, percentage of time. Oh, damn it. Oh, I messed that up. Up. Yeah, yeah, this this is always one of the hardest games for me as a kid. Try to do this. And you get the best one, too. Ugh. Ooh! Any chance? Nope. <sighs> Plant bottoms, not gonna cut it. Alright, if you never knew, the second whistle. So I'm 
not grabbing it. Because then I can't get the raccoon tail. One thing I did learn, you can kill those, like, circular things with a star. Like, if you have the invincibility star, you can kill those things. Which is pretty cool. There we go. You fly up here. You push yourself to the right. You go all the way over to the end. And there's a door. And then, oh, look at that, there's a whistle. Shocker. Who would have guessed? I love Super Mario World. That is my all-time favorite Mario game. I know a lot of people love uh, Super Mario 3, and I'm playing the uh, Game Boy Advance port of it right now on the Nintendo Switch Online, but yeah, Super Mario World has always been my favorite. Whoop, whoop. When I was a kid, I beat the whole... Like, everything is in Mario World. I haven't been in Awesome Land in forever. I like Mario. Mario is one of my favorites. Sonic was always fun. My only issue with Sonic is... Sonic is the reason why I hate water bubbles. Oh, shit. I'm pointing the wrong direction. Ah! No! There we go. Give me that one. Baby, throwing fireballs is fun. It's so much fun. I mean, that was one of my favorite things about Mario was the raccoon tail and the fireballs and then in Super Mario World, you get the cape. Oh, I love it. But Sonic was great too because you get to run really fast. That's That was my favorite thing about Sonic was just running at like fast speeds. It was great. It was so much fun. I didn't know you can kill him like that. Yeah, you can use the fireballs. Yeah. You can actually kill all the Ko all the little Koopalings with fireballs like that, if I remember correctly. I know a lot of different little tips and tricks and stuff for some of these games. Just because you play them for years, man. I remember when I had a Super Nintendo, all I used to play was Mario All-Stars like all the time. And that's like all the old Mario games. So, I definitely have a lot of experience playing them. Running fast trying to get all the coins and the coin sound. Yeah, the ring sound in Sonic is amazing. One of the few things I haven't done in Sonic is get all the Chaos Emeralds. That was one thing that I just was not ever able to do. I always tried. I always tried, but I always failed once I got to the really hard ones. Rings, yes, yeah, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Alright, we got the five star panel. Let's go, baby. I love it. Five lives. Do a spade real quick. Right. I messed it up. You were watching Basketball Dawn? I haven't watched any yet. I watched a little. I'm so mad my bracket broke because Kansas lost. Oh, I was so mad on Saturday night. I was raging. I was so pissed. Oh, I did. I got the blue mushroom. Oh, shit. I got it. This is so cool. All right, let's check out our reward. What did we get? Ooh, an anchor. Okay. So for those who don't know, the anchor is for the ship. You can use the anchor so that in case you lose to the boss. Whoops. But you want the, uh... You. you can use the anchor to weigh down the ship so it can't run away from you. That's what that's for. It doesn't really do much else, if I remember correctly. And it's kind of a rare item, obviously. But yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, there's a lot of little weird items in Mario games that sometimes are very peculiar that not everybody knows what they do. You know? I get that a lot of, like... People will tell me, like, I don't even know what that does. Yeah. Just what I so run through here. Now, the raccoon tail makes this a lot easier because I have spikes to deal with here, so floating is nice. Thank you. Because I can make it up here with the raccoon tail. Come on, a little more. There we go. There we 
go.